some games, their communication it's very good and they play very well. But in another games, uh, maybe the communication it's not uh, working so well. So maybe for that they play, they lost the game. Hi everyone, it's Tom reporting once again with an MSI ramp up and today I'm going to be talking about the LLA and about the representative Infinity Esports and with me here to do so are the twins who cover the uh, LLA for quite a while and make a lot of content. How are you doing twins? Fine, very happy. Very, to I'm very excited here. with this interview. Yeah, I'm yeah. very excited to, to have you on. It's been a while since we last saw each other at the international event, but it's all, always good to catch up. And uh, for the people who don't know what you do, could you just give a quick introduction as to who you are and, and how you follow the LLA and what coverage you provide? Okay, yeah. First of all, we are not brothers. Uh, we are just friends. Uh, we met each other uh, like three years ago. And now we are working together, like also three years ago, we are working together. Yeah, uh, yeah we work for uh, Isurus Gaming, a uh, team, uh, esports team from Latin America, and for uh, Chile Infinity Esports, uh, the last champion of the LLA. And uh, we cover the uh, World Cup, World yeah. 2019 19. in Europe. And in this moment, we meet. Tom, and it's a pleasure for us to stay with you right now. We yeah, also... Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. We also create a lot of content about uh, eSport, gaming. Uh, we work in a program, in, a, in a, like a TV show, but in Twitch uh, with uh, MSA, the MSA? all right all right all right yeah. right well um, it's, it's 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 good to have you on um and obviously we're going to be talking about um infinity esports and what they're going to be doing at msi and what the hopes are but first before uh, the split started were there any big roster changes for infinity were there any big name signings or big shakeups yeah there were many many changes Yes, yeah. uh, Cotopaco uh, is, was the... It was the mid, the mid laner. The mid laner, one of the most popular uh, players in Latin America, leave the team and in Left. his place mm -hmm. come Cody, a Chilean team, a rookie that in the last year uh, was like a star. He broke the, the... Right, he was very promising talent in the, in the uh, yeah. scene. Yeah. Uh, he, he played uh, before in Azul Esport and uh, come to team 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 team. the Esport in the mid laner. Uh, and the support leave the team, Gentix and all uh, player in the LLA. And in his uh, place come um, uh, Ackerman. Ackerman. Now the, the new support uh, is Ackerman. Mm -hmm. And he is playing very well with, in, uh, with White Lotus. The ABC. The carry, the carry, mm -hmm. um, and the top lane. Uh, there was another change there. Uh, straight, uh, straight, uh, leave the team and play. And now he's playing Bugax. All right. Uh, Bugax was a player from Isurus in nineteen. He played uh, Worlds mm -hmm. in Europe with Isurus playing. Right. So there were quite a bit of changes for the team then heading into uh, the split and. When looking at the changes, what was the perception of the community of this Infinity roster? Were, was everybody saying, okay, these guys are winning the split or a good contender? Or were there still some doubts about how they would perform? Um, uh, many people say that Infinity is the uh, star team. It's, mm. a, it's a dream team because uh, every year has the best players, but uh, he only has, uh, he only was. A champion in 2018 mm -hmm. and uh, like in five years ago yes but this year the people say mm, maybe the star team uh, another year's uh, finishing we'll semi-finals or quarterfinals but uh, this year Ah, okay. Uh, yes, first of all, there were many doubts about the changes, but uh, 
many people think that it will be for for the best of right. the team um, and it was it was uh, i think that the uh, another roster was a good roster but this roster with these changes uh, like increase the um, the confianza the confidence mm -hmm. in oh, the See, sí, see sí, the confidence in the team. I don't know, but it it improves all the skills in the team. I think. And uh, Infinity has another change: the gaming house. Uh, uh, yeah. We live with Infinity in last, the, the year. last year, and the gaming house was. Mm, <laughs> it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't. Sorry. It wasn't fantastic to live in. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and this year, the gaming house is awesome. It's like a mansion. If yes. you saw or if you see the, the stories in uh, Instagram from Infinity, the, the mm -hmm. gaming house, it's perfect. And I think that uh, that was a, a big, a good change for the like team. Like a plus for the, for the team. Right, right. Um, so the team is a star-studded lineup, but I can imagine that in the split itself, obviously a new team with new members on the team still has to figure some things out. So throughout the split, how was the performance of the team? Was it immediately great and everything was perfect, or did you see a lot of growth within the team still? Uh, yeah, uh, Infinity started um, kind of bad. The the first two weeks, he he uh, lost. No, uh, no, see, no, no, the, no. See, uh, <laughs> ah, no, 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 sorry, no, sorry, no. again. Uh, bueno, <laughs> uh, Infinity played very well. The the first. Uh, the first weeks and uh, come to the, the the top of the. Mm -hmm. of the they of came the, on top of the, the leaderboard. Oh, yeah. the leaderboard, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and finish the first phase okay. of the LLA uh, in no in the second place. Yeah. So uh, I think that he that Infinity plays very well, but for example, uh, he can beat Astral. He can beat. Uh, he can beat Extra, he can beat uh, Rainbow Seven, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and in the second phase, it was uh... because the LLA has a strange format. It mm -hmm. has three phases. The, the first one was the regular split, uh, like uh, double round robin. Mm -hmm. And the second step is only with five teams, the best five teams of the first step. Uh, infinite and uh, it's only one row robin, but every win uh, is for three points. Right. Uh, no, no, uh, two points. But in the first step, uh, every win is for one point. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. The, In the second uh, half, or in the second phase, every win is for two, two points. points. And finish the second phase in second place. Uh, and come to the semifinals. Mm -hmm. In the semifinals, is uh, now like the gauntlet, the mm -hmm. the playoff, and finish mm -hmm. in the second in the second place and come to the semifinals. In the semifinals, uh, they beat All Knights. It's one of the most important teams in the LLA mm -hmm. for the last year, uh, for T to one. And in the final, finally, uh, he won with a two against, against Furious, Furious, Furious Gaming. Uh, Furious is one of the most popular uh, teams, teams in uh, mm -hmm. South America, but it's one of, of, of he can he can't won the LLA uh, never. Also. Never. Uh, uh, this was see. the second final and mm -hmm. come uh, Infinity. Come to, ¿Cómo es que se dice? Decime en español. Que el que estaba perdiendo y ganó. Ah, Infinity uh, was uh, ah, no sé. game the final with a comeback. Oh, sí. they, they reverse swept. Was that it? Yeah, yeah. yes, that, that. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. I, I remember this, and so I think it, that many people uh, thought that in the final, Furious uh, it's can fun. win for T0, but uh, the reverse sweep of Infinity with uh, the, the bot lane uh, has a great series, a the great MVP. final. Uh, and the, for that, and for the, the other players, really, mm -hmm. uh, they can beat Furious, the reverse sweep, and 
uh, come to the MSI right now. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, because I I yeah. remember if I remember correctly, Rainbow Seven also did a reverse sweep last year at the summer, right? Yeah. When they yeah. when they came back and made it to World. So is is it a yeah. theme now going on in the LLA that every final is going to be a reverse sweep? Yeah, yes, it, it, it's strange because the last year and the the split of the these years, uh, the finals has reverse sweep, but in other years, every final uh, was a 3-0. Right. Zero, three, zero, three, so zero, may maybe the competition is just getting closer than the, pe the yeah. teams are, are, yeah. are more matched uh, now. Well, it's, it's, it's interesting to hear. And uh, when you look at the split, where did um, where did the team improve most? Where do you, could you say, like, of Infinity, okay, this was going bad at the start, and this is going much better now, and this allowed them to win the championship. But what, what areas did they improve on most? Uh, I think that the bot lane improved very uh, a lot, a lot. It the the carry is Wild Lotus, one of the most, most uh, popular uh, carries in, in South America. Uh, he's uh, Argentinian and play uh, in, in, Brazil. in Brazil. He has been many championships in, mm -hmm. in the in the region in, in Latin America. And, and the the support, the support is a rookie. It's a rookie. It's an Argentinian rookie. I think he's uh, 17 years old. Yes, it's very young. Boy. And, and and he's well. Together. He's playing very well. He's he. They like they have like a synergy each other. Mm -hmm. So mental synergy. Yeah. And they play very well right now. Maybe. And also in the top lane, I think the top lane maybe uh, the last top lane uh, maybe has uh, very good uh, games, but other games, uh, nothing, nothing. Gotcha. It's, it's yeah, like, yeah. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, w when we look at the team, then obviously uh, the people watching this are, are probably going to try to get an, uh, an expectation of, of what to expect from, from Infinity. So let's start, let's talk about the, the weaknesses and strengths of the team in particular and what to look out for. So uh, let, let's start with the weaknesses. Where do you think this team can struggle? What do you think can be a downfall for them uh, when playing against the other top teams from international regions? I think that the, also the weakness is in the top lane, right? Sí, uh, the top I, I lane. don't think so. No? Uh, no, because uh, <laughs> maybe the, the mid lane, uh, because if the, the team can't uh, give the... Their re re resource mm -hmm. to the to the mid laner. Maybe this is a weakness for the team because Cody uh, is a, a very good player, but it is still a rookie, and this is the and first international uh, tournament for him. Maybe the pressure and everything he break down. He, he play very well when the resource of the team it uh, go to him, but uh, Infinity maybe plays more around the bot lane or the top lane. Maybe the, the bot lane. The bot lane is the, the, the strongest, strongest. Uh, line of the team. Mm -hmm. And if, maybe if the other teams can uh, attack more the, in, the, in the mid lane. In the mid lane, yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe can I'm be a agree. problem. I'm agree. In terms of style then, um, let's, let's talk about their play. Let, let's talk about the team's play style, which can also be a, a strength for the team. Is this a team that's super aggressive? Is this a team that controls the map? What do you think defines this team most? And um, well, obviously MSI is going to be played on patch 11.9 and we don't quite know yet what's going to be the, the right strategy. Yeah. That's something we're going to figure out. But what would suit this team very well? Would it be an aggressive style? Would it be farming and scaling? Well, uh, I think that it's a mix about everything, but they they are very aggressive at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if, if uh, at the beginning. Uh, yes, I think yeah, that yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in the, the bot lane, lane the, the jungle uh, try to uh, gang in the bot lane to uh, for white lotus for the the carry to uh, so come to to improve her uh, its skills mm -hmm. and then uh, but also for example the weakness i think in the in the team is the communication mm -hmm. uh, in some games their communication it's very good and they play very well but in another games uh, maybe the communication it's not uh, working so well so 
maybe for that they play they lost the game mm -hmm. so uh, i think that it depends on the communication but if they did they do it well they can start aggressive like mm -hmm. an aggressive uh, beginning mm -hmm. so uh, but also for example uh, white lotus uh, like to farm he's very good f uh, farming for example farmer, farmer. he's a right. very good farmer. so they do many many things yeah there's a lot that... of there's a lot of flexibility in the team they can do they can yeah. do many many different styles now um, you did touch on the rookie mid laner. I think that's something that's super exciting to see, obviously, um, in the mid lane, especially because, well, at MSI, uh, there are some pretty good mid laners there, and especially yeah. Infinity is going to be playing against Dumb One, so they'll be playing against Showmaker. Oh, yeah. They're going to be playing against Cloud9, so he'll be playing against Perks, which is, uh, mm -hmm. which, which is immediately a very tough matchup. So let's talk about those expectations then. I think. I don't think many people expect the LLA to come out of the uh, out of the group stage, even though many LLA fans obviously would hope hope that they do so. Now, what are your expectations for the team at MSI, and what do you think maybe they can learn from this, or how do you think that they can use MSI in their advantage for maybe further growth? Okay, well, uh, I think that um, Infinity can beat uh, B three in. Uh, both games without problems. Uh, They're playing think... uh, against DFM, right? Yeah. Ah, ah DFM. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Isurus can beat uh, DFM in the in the last World Cup in 2019, and mm -hmm. I think the LLA is um, uh, has better how do you say? Uh, level mm -hmm. uh, better level than the the GLG. So I think. DFM can be a problem, but uh, the problems are the other two teams. Yeah. So the death group. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I think in Infinity can uh, beat maybe one one time uh, mm -hmm. to Get that ahead. one. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's possible. Uh, Infinity in uh, World 2018 uh, can beat. Um, C2. C2 in one game and. Uh, no, Invictus, no. Uh, uh, let me see. Wait a second. A ver, a decir vos algo, ¿eh? Ok. And. No sé de qué estamos hablando. Eh. Uh, no sé. Uh, EDG. Ah. Infinity can beat in 2019 and the last year uh, Rainbow 7 uh, can beat China 2. And I think it's possible. It's yeah, possible. it is possible. Uh, I, I I know that Infinity can uh, stream for uh, screams with uh, NA Academy. Mm -hmm. So I think they can it's know not the, the matchups. And it's not the same that Cloud9, for example. But uh, I think it's the best year for for Latin America. Uh, in, if, if they play very well, like. Infinity do uh, they can game right uh, can game, uh, win, win sorry right so if they are if they show up in absolute top shape then they then we might be in for some spicy surprises uh, in terms yeah, of yeah, yeah. Play. well it's best they, of ones they... obviously so and anything can happen in in best of ones uh, we've seen it time and time and again so I really yeah. I'm, I'm, but I'm really looking forward to um, how they're gonna perform. Thank you so much for joining me, Twins. It was very insightful to learn about Infinity uh, Esports. Yeah, no, thank you, you. you. Uh, it's a pleasure for us. I'm sorry for our English. Yeah. The last time <laughs> I, I, I took any speaking English well, I was with you last year, so imagine. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is quite some time ago. I think you did fine. Don't worry about it. I think it's a, it's a casual chat and people definitely got um, a lot of information from you too. So thank you so much again. Okay, thank no, thank you. So, well, bye, and... It, it was a pleasure.